Well, it's about a week before my traditional Good Friday planting date. However, I'm going to go and put some tomatoes out in the garden. In fact, I wish I'd put the tomatoes out a couple weeks ago, but my schedule, like yours, gets very busy. So to plant to my tomatoes, what I'm first going to do is dig a nice deep hole. And to do this, I'm going to actually use post hole diggers and dig down and bring out the soil. And then I'm going to put in that hole. I'm going to start with some composted cow manure. After that, I'm going to add a balanced organic fertilizer, a 533. And after that, I'm going to add something you may not use too often in your garden, bone mill. Uh, bone mill is really high in phosphorus, so it's actually a 115-0 fertilizer value. So when you hear those numbers, the three numbers represent the percentage of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium or potash. Well, phosphorus and potassium are very good for encouraging root growth as well as stem growth, and nitrogen typically encourages leaf growth. Well, a plant needs all three of these, but you have to be a little careful not to overdo it on the nitrogen for a fruiting vegetable. Uh, peppers are especially susceptible to this. If you give it too much nitrogen, you have this beautiful, big, bushy pepper plant with no peppers on it. After the bone mill, I'm going to then add uh, a little kelp. Uh, kelp is very high in trace elements. And then we're going to cover the rest up with soil and give it a little protection since we we're still planting a little early. So let's get started. my traditional better boy tomato and you can see often, sometimes when you get the plants you actually have more than one plant going up growing in the pot and you're, a lot of times you're tempted to try to plant all of these uh, but really it's not worth it you're going to just get, damage the other one so I'll just pluck it out and leave the good one now since I'm burying this pretty deep I'm going to actually go ahead and pull off all these lower leaves I'm leaving the top, top few leaves I'm going to rake in some dirt with this, uh, the amendments I just added. Mix it in good. And then I'm going to put the plant. Look how deep that plant is in there. Looks pretty deep and it is pretty deep. But however, I'm leaving a little hole that will catch water. Tomatoes love water, especially when they first plant it. I mentioned the protection I'm adding. This is simply a milk jug, which I've cut the bottom off, and you can see it's perfect in that hole right there. With the hole, it keeps the, it keeps the wind from blowing them off, and then I'll take a little dirt around this. Now, as the tomato plant grows, I'll actually remove the, the milk jug, put soil even around that part of the uh, stem, and then the tomato plant will continue to grow. One important thing is don't forget to water them in after you plant it. Now even though I have a plastic meal jug on them, I'm going to water on top of that knowing that since they're in a hole, the water is going to find the roots. Well here we are at the farm. And we've already planted the tomato plants, as you can see behind me here at the farm. We planted about 37 tomato plants and about that many peppers as well. Uh, given both of them protection, both being heat-loving plants, we gave them the protection of the milk jugs as well. 
good thing too it's a bit nippy out here uh, Georgia it's uh, it's probably mid to high 50s uh, which for Georgia is freezing now I realize some people some uh, viewers up north may disagree with that but needless to say the plants being heat lovers as they are appreciate the extra protection so for the tomato plants we've got predominantly better boys my standards but we do have some park swappers mixed in there as well as some champions which I've never grown before so I'm trying those out this year the pepper are predominantly uh, California wonder which is my staple bell pepper as well as some jalapenos thrown in in addition to the peppers and the tomatoes that just went out we previously planted some garlic and onions as well as some potatoes we have three types of potatoes we're growing we have Kennebec we have um, a red Pontiac I believe red Pontiac and as well as Yukon gold I'm actually a little worried about the Kennebec uh, we planned those pretty early it was pretty wet I'm not sure those won't come up so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on those to see how those do Thank you.